see the difference. Suicide bomb kills at least 19 people at a crowded mosque in the Pakistan police station. This day, TM, see the difference. The island nation's GDP plunged by 11% in 2022. Sri Lanka's president said the growth is expected in 2024, although a 35 to 4% drop in GDP is still a possibility this year. Sri Lanka's central bank is hoping for a crucial IMF deal to take effect in the first quarter of, last, of this year. Rather, Last September, the country reached a preliminary deal with the IMF for a 2.9 billion bailout package, but debt sustainability requirements have to be met before the program can kick in. For more, we are joined by Dr. Srimo Fernando, Designation Advisor on New Regional Diplomacy. Welcome to the show, sir. So how do you assess Sri Lanka's recovery outlook? And more broadly, will the IMF payment program be the cure? Thank you very much. Uh, you're correct. Uh, Sri Lanka needs assurance from all creditors, which includes uh, the bilateral uh, creditors like India, China, as well as the pa Paris Club members. Even though it has to be uh, the 2.948 month uh, bailout package needs to be unlocked. GDP uh, ratio to debt is over 120 a percent, which is quite high as a small island. Uh, most of the uh, key demands by the IMF uh, on austerity and other measures have been implemented by the country. But however, the government predicts uh, that uh, the GDP might uh, shrink, the economy might shrink by 3.5 percent to 4 percent. Uh, however, people are finding it uh, quite difficult. Uh, even uh, 5 million uh, people are vulnerable. Uh, due to food insecurities, uh, there is tar uh, tar tariff hikes, tax hikes uh, coming up in this year to raise the revenue. With all these measures, uh, the key bilateral donors like India, um, uh, China, as well as the Paris Club members, which includes Japan, which coordinates a main portion of the debt, are key uh, components of this uh, economic recovery process for the small island nation. Yes. Well, Dr. Fernando, Sri Lanka's foreign minister is holding his first press conference since taking office. What's been said so far? Yes, uh, going back to his briefing, I will uh, just uh, break this analysis into three parts. One is about political and the other one is about uh, economic diplomacy as well as the foreign policy. When it comes to political uh, sphere, uh, the foreign minister uh, to the diplomatic and international community saying that, uh, that the country needs to go on an economic stabilization process, which includes social uh, also. Uh, however, the all-party conference 
uh, they are all parties from the Sri Lankan uh, representing the parliament has to participate and come to a consensus. Also, he mentioned about reconciliation process and how a subcommittee of the candidate can deal with the reconciliation process. Process. Uh, in the coming months, uh, apart from the briefing, the local government elections will be held. When it comes to economic diplomacy, uh, he uh, his, uh, he uh, focused on the IMF bailout package and how the international community could help on this matter to deal with the, uh, the multilateral organization IMF. And, um, and the key, the foreign policy direction uh, uh, was uh, on, on a three prolonged one. One is with the key traditional uh, neighbors, one is India, China, as well as uh, United States. And also very recently, uh, the foreign minister visited uh, Saudi Arabia, an uh, energy partner. Uh, and also uh, he uh, said uh, it is a successful mission because uh, Saudi Arabia plays a key role in the Paris club, uh, with the Paris club members. So uh, these were the current deliberations coming out of the foreign, uh, foreign minister. And uh, the country is now trying to focus on the IMF bailout package for economic recovery plan. Uh, but assurances from the creditors is a key component for the IMF uh, body to unlock the uh, US dollars 2.9 billion uh, debt uh, support uh, mechanism, major areas uh, that the foreign ministry as well as the foreign uh, minister has been concentrated. Okay, thank you so much for your insights, Dr. Shreem.